hey guys welcome back to another new video and we welcomes you so today in this video we will be discussing about powers of criminal courts in india in the last video we have discussed the powers functions or what is court of session so before starting this video if you have not subscribed my channel please go subscribe so that you all get crpc related videos regularly so let's start this video first of all we will know what are criminal courts criminal courts are established to impart justice to people and punish the offenders that go against the law simple meaning is that criminal courts are established why because it can impart justice to people it can give justice to people and punish all the offenders who commits any crime or offense or go against law the hierarchy is established according to the rule book of the code of criminal procedure or crpc here in india supreme court is the highest criminal court now in which sections the powers of criminal courts are given in crpc the different powers of the criminal courts are given under section 28 and 29 of the criminal procedure code 1973 these sections will include high court the power of high court session court magistrate court court of chief judicial magistrate now we will discuss sentences which high court and session court may pass the provisions of this sentences which high court and session court may pass are given in section 28 of the criminal procedure code or crpc here sentences includes these here sentences include life imprisonment death sentence or even fine so in first point the high court can pass any sentence authorized by law here sentence what does it mean here sentence means life imprisonment death sentence or even fine so high court can pass any sentence authorized by law second point any session judge or additional session judge may pass any sentence authorized by law but any sentence of death passed by any such judge shall be subject to the confirmation by the high court this i have explained in the last video in the court of session if you have not watched that video please go watch so that you can understand this particular concept why session judge cannot pass the death sentence without the confirmation of high court i have explained all that in that video third point an assistant session judge may pass any sentence authorized by law except for a death sentence or of life imprisonment or of imprisonment for a term exceeding 10 years here in second point and third point additional session judge or assistant session judge both the post of the judge is different both the powers of those the judges are also different an assistant session judge may pass any sentence authorized by law except for a death sentence that particular judge or the assistant session judge cannot pass the sentence of death sentence or of life imprisonment what can it pass it can pass the imprisonment for a term exceeding 10 years okay now we will discuss the sentences which magistrates may pass the high court and the session court are over now now we will come to magistrates the court of magistrates section 29 of the criminal procedure code deals with the provisions of the sentences which magistrates may pass this section says first point the court of the chief judicial magistrate may pass any sentence authorized by law except a sentence of death the chief judicial magistrate cannot pass a sentence of death or of imprisonment for life it can pass the sentence of imprisonment for a term exceeding 7 years all you have to do is remember all the years or the period okay second point the court of a magistrate of the first class may pass a sentence of imprisonment for a term not exceeding 3 years the court of magistrate 
of the first class cannot pass any sentence of imprisonment or the court of a magistrate of the first class cannot pass sentence of imprisonment exceeding 3 years it can pass only up to 3 years not more than that and also or a fine not exceeding 10000 rupees he can pass a fine sentence of fine not exceeding 10000 rupees up to 10000 it is okay more than that it is not its jurisdiction or of both third point the court of magistrate of the second class may pass a sentence of imprisonment here there is the court of magistrate of second class in the previous point we have discussed the court of magistrate of the first class so here is the difference difference is that in the first class the court of a magistrate of the first class may pass a sentence of imprisonment for a term not exceeding 3 years but in this case it is 1 year and the fine amount in that case or in the case of magistrate of first class it is not exceeding 10000 rupees but in this case it is written not exceeding 5000 rupees or of both okay now in the last point the court of a chief metropolitan magistrate shall have the powers of the court of a chief judicial magistrate and that of a metropolitan magistrate the powers of a court of a magistrate of the first class here the chief metropolitan magistrate shall have all the powers of the court of cjm or chief judicial magistrate and metropolitan magistrate or the powers of the court of a magistrate of the first class not second class only first class i hope this video is clear to you if you have any doubt in this video please do comment if you like this video press the like button share it subscribe for more such videos and for then stay safe thank you